There we go. I did a video cutting these out, but I had to change the uh, setting back on the camera. It's just taking too long to download the videos. So uh, that's where we're at. Get the site cleaned up. Let's unfit it in there. Uh, this is our new chassis. We're we'll putting this other one in. Just got to grind the spot welds down. A little break, orange break. Get this cut down. There's the other pan over there. I'm gonna weld it in. So we got it all cleaned up. I'm gonna try to download that other video. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It'd be like a three hour download. It's just basically cutting the pans out. I've seen that process before, so. So that's where we're at on this. Try to get this going, get this all painted, and then uh, we'll set our new, uh, set our body back on top of this, weld our front clip on. So that's where we're at. Get it inside. I wanted to do it out here so we wouldn't make a big mess. There's the residual. See the old pans. It's all the tar and stuff off the tunnel. So yeah, get this finished up and uh, we'll blast that horn section there. Get all the rust off that and we'll give it a good coat of black paint. And, uh,. Rebuild the rear torsion, reset the rear spring plates, some new shocks. And uh, I don't have to do any of that stuff, though, I don't think. Hopefully, Scooter will come do all that. So, so that's where we're at. There you go, Greg. Those are premium heavy duty shocks there, not Coney's. So, we got a double adjustable beam on this one. Good. We're gonna go with that. I'm just gonna clean it up. King and Ling pins look good. So, this will probably just be new tie rods, new shocks up here, and all new brakes. So, so that's where we're at. We'll go upload this and then we'll come back and do a little while welding video. So let me see if this uploads a little faster. Alright, guys.